What is up everyone? It's Christmas time. Did Santa bring us a new format, a new meta, or any spicy new decks? Let's find out. What is up YouTube? Aeneas here. It's Monday again. Another week has passed, so let's take a look at the standard meta and what's going on, as well as some things that are happening in standard, historic, and alchemy, and some spicy brews from Twitter. And, um... Yeah, we'll just see what's going on. So let's get right into it. So to start off in standard, meta has pretty much still been settled. Nothing super crazy is going on recently in standard. So uh, we'll still see that Azorius Soldier is very popular and very strong. Mono Red is also super popular um, and doing quite well. And Mono White is the third spot. So pretty much the only thing that's changed is aggro is even more prevalent at the top of the popularity uh, so we're sitting at about 40 percent aggro here it looks like and uh, close behind is some of the mid-range decks grixis and mono black so they can hold their own but they're just a little bit worse than the aggro decks so um yeah probably it's just going to be easier to just play the one of the aggro decks if you really want to rank up fast uh, and then if we look at like the tier list in Mythic for just this last week, Soldiers still at the top of the list, but um, the Grixis mid-range deck is sitting at the next highest slot there overall. So uh, yeah, Grixis still your best bet if you want to play something that's a little bit more controlly, a little bit more mid-range. All right, and then best of three, it's a little bit different as usual. Uh, so a lot of those three color decks are doing quite well in this best of three format. Grixis number one, Mardu number two, and uh, Esper and Azori Soldiers, both very respectable decks in the best of three format. And the only really new things that we got going on is um, currently in this meta for the last week or so, there's been an interesting kind of, is it tempo deck? Is it mid-range deck? I don't know what you want to call it. Is it uh artifact deck that has kind of uh creeped up and become more and more popular uh, so taking a look at one of the decks that's been doing well 57 percent win rate uh, it seems to rely mostly on the big artifacts like the skitter beam battalion and cityscape leveler and you have some ramp with treasures with fable of the mirror breaker your bank buster and might stone weak stone also ramp for your artifacts so it's really taking advantage of this big skitter beam battalion card um, which they have um, in the deck it looks like they have four of this one and three of this one so you're ramping to your really big artifacts and then you're winning the game and this card is pretty strong if you can cast it for the nine cost it creates three four fours with trample and haste so uh, that's going to be pretty much a two turn lethal with that card once you get that down so, and if you can cast multiple of that, well, that's just going to be even better. So, yeah, it's a strong card. It's just very, very expensive. Uh, so, it's key to have all the ramp in the deck. But pretty cool deck. Uh, yeah, definitely something I'd be interested in trying out. And I see in their sideboard, they even have, like, Sahili, which is another cool card to fit in the Is It deck. So, I uh, definitely wouldn't mind trying out some sort of Is It artifacts deck and see how that works out. So cool. Taking a look at historic, we can see that Wizards still number one spot even after the new cards there, uh, at least in popularity and in win rate for today. Um, is it Belcher also very very good still? Selesnia Squirrel Twins or the the life gain squirrel combo, um, also very popular and doing pretty well. Um, I think the only thing that we really see that increased was maybe Rectos Midrange and Azorius Affinity uh, after the new cards got added. Same thing for the overall tier list for the Diamond and Mythic range. Um, yeah, Boros Affinity, Artifact Affinity improved a lot uh, as we talked about in previous videos. Azorius Affinity uh, coming up there now, also doing very strong. Um, yeah, Wizards and the um, Rakdos combo and stuff with Diabolic Intent and Goblin Trap Finder, stuff like that. So um, Rakdos making a comeback, uh, Boros, Azorius, Affinity, both very strong. Wizards still very strong. 
and uh, got a few other interesting ones down here as well Simic Merfolk, Belcher, etc. But a lot of the standard players are still here. So not a whole lot changed, but Affinity and Rakdos Stonks went up. Looking at Explorer, we see that the Mono Blue Spirits is pretty much in the top spot uh, currently. Uh, Zorius Control also no, not too shabby. The Angels deck also doing fine. And uh, of course, Aggro is always decent. Uh, and then if we look overall, yeah, same thing. Spirits is very good. There's kind of a interesting Boros deck as well with the uh, favorite hoplite uh, which I know is very this kind of deck is popular in pioneer um, so yeah both of those kind of made their way over here and are doing quite well and then of course Azores control uh, never the best deck but always does decently well in explorer so that's one you can try out um, and then deck i hate the most but always seems to do well in historic and in explorer is the abzan grease fang deck gross so i hope you don't play that one but if you love it you know go for it uh just the one i i hate to see the most on the ladder all right um but yeah that's pretty much for control explorer yeah and i looked at the tournaments for the week and actually there are no tournaments because christmas you know Makes sense. Uh, people want to take time off. They don't want to spend time playing tournaments. So no tournaments this weekend. Uh, but we do still have some cool brews. People are at home, you know, trying out th some things. Uh, doing well on the MTGA ladder. So uh, the first one we got here is a mono green deck. This is um, one that makes use of a lot of the more big cards in the green format. So you got a natural growth, Titiana's Command. And whether like completed, which is kind of a strange include, but um, yeah, definitely something interesting. I guess as your opponents kill your stuff, you'll eventually get a 5-5 five, five down. So that's kind of nice. Uh, on top of the other effects, it has the scrying. So yeah, pretty cool. And they have t uh, t Titiana uh, in there. And the I guess they don't even have the land, which is kind of strange. Oh, they do. They have it here. In, in, they just have it. I don't know why they put it here, but it's not in the uh, land section. Um, so yeah, so I guess sometimes you can also cast your Titiana. Cool. Uh, that's a Planeswalker that we haven't seen a lot in play. So nice to see someone having good success with that. Uh, the same person. Yeah, I guess the Steel Grip person is uh, pretty cool at brewing and lots of interesting decks that they're doing well with uh, they post like their scores with the deck as well and often pretty good scores so this other one that they came up with was this is it walkers list so kind of similar to the is it one we saw before uh, but this one's less reliant on the ramp package and more on just the very good planeswalkers that are in the is it colors right now jaya which is very underplayed, but also very strong. Sahili, another one that works quite well. Uh, both of those make you a bunch of tokens to come up the board and lots of drawing value off of those. So yeah, really, really cool to see, to be honest. Um, it's another deck that I would be willing to try out. Uh, I think it had kind of a negative impression because of the whole um, Aleron's Epiphany and then like the um whole breaker horror decks were quickly after that so it was just like a lot of like unfair magic in the is it colors but um uh, and uh what's the dragon <laughs> the annoying dragon the uh gosh I, i'm gonna you can blame me in the comments tell me the name i can't gold span gold span dragon that's right yeah that was so annoying too so uh that's all gone now but we have kind of a new versions of is it coming out that seemed pretty good pretty interesting so i'm definitely down to try them out all right and uh next one is this just guy control deck which is another one that looks very cool um it's playing temporary lockdown which we haven't seen a lot of but would be actually very good against the soldiers decks because a lot of them you want to exile and so that would definitely help with that also helps against the mono red decks they have a lot of enchantments and things like that that aren't creatures so yeah you can exile those as well um, and both of those decks don't really run enchantment removal typically so pretty safe to remove them and not worry about it coming back so that's cool uh this one also has the urza planeswalker package which is nice and wandering emperor which is strong 
um, Big Teferi, and it's kind of got a, everything. So, um, so I guess as long as your sweepers can hit what you need to hit, then your Planeswalkers are just going to win the game for you with this one. So yeah, cool. Another cool deck. Definitely down to try that one. And then lastly, uh, this is a historic deck. Um, I showed a similar one maybe two weeks ago, but it seems like this is kind of the new blue-white uh, artifact affinity deck uh, running around historic, and it seems to be doing very well for people. This person went 5-0 and with the list, um, and yeah, so just you got so much more cheap artifacts in the last set. Uh, just makes it even better and stronger. And forging the anchor, drawing you a bunch of cards, also very, very good for the deck. So pretty sweet. Uh, I imagine this is going to be a very strong f thing in the historic format. So if you are a big historic fan, yeah, check it out. All right. Well, that's it for this Monday's meta game update. So let me know what you think. Uh, what formats are you playing right now? Are you still having fun in standard or have you moved on to something else, explorer or alchemy or uh, historic? Let me know. Maybe I can uh, look up some decks and interesting tournament results and stuff from those other formats as well. So let me know in the comments. Uh, but yeah, until next time, Merry Christmas. Have fun on the ladder. Have some fun with your hopefully holiday or some break time that you got for the Christmas break. And until next time, see ya.